Hey guys, Reed from Work Turbo. Welcome back to my channel and another installment of 5 Minute Turbo Tech Tips. Well, this one's not going to be a Turbo Tech Tip. It's going to be more of a FAQ between two turbos. We have them here on the bench. Two heavy hitters. We've got the G55-106 on the right and the GTX-55-106 on the left. Right off the bat, the two visual differences that you're going to see are really the only two differences in these turbochargers. Aluminum bearing housing versus cast iron. G-series turbine wheel versus GTX series. This wheel is Garrett's newest and latest and it is what the whole G-series nomenclature is about. This is the star of the show. It is the nine bladed 112 millimeter inducer, 106 millimeter exducer or minor turbine wheel. This exhaust wheel flows about 15% more air than the GT55. It also has a much higher efficiency at lower flow rates, so it will respond better um, on the same AR, on the same engine platform. So this will give you better response and more flow, everything you need in a turbo. The compressor groups are identical. We'll slowly take these guys out very carefully here. Let the gin to the air. Set this out of the way. And here's the G series. They may look a little different when you first look at them, but it's just the way the back plates are assembled. They are identical on the compressor group side, completely interchangeable. So you're not gaining any flow difference between the two on the compressor side. It is all turbine only. So back to the FAQs, here's what I get a lot. Hey Reed, I've got a GTX on my car. Gen two, can I put a G55 right in its place? Yes, the answer is yes. So right off the bat, even though they're two different bearing housings, the oil feeds are in exactly the same location. The oil drains are in exactly the same location, same bolt spacing. So if you built your setup with a, uh, like a Maven mount or, you know, different piping uh, that's, that's tight, whatever you got, no worries. These things will bolt right into place. You're not going to have to modify anything on the oil side, anything on the compressor side, or anything on the exhaust side for that matter. So there's a win for you right there. Things are a thing of beauty, aren't they? <laughs> Been doing this 26 years as a business and it still amazes me. And so yeah, I guess this is why I'm still here. <laughs> Second question I get a lot of. Reed, I've got a spare GT55 turbine housing. Can you machine my GT55 exhaust housing to fit the G50 cartridge assembly? Well, the answer there is no. Right off the bat, the difference between the two is the bearing housing register. So as you can see here, the register for the G55 is a larger OD. So unable to fit that. Even though we can machine the housing to fit the wheel, we can never, you know, get the bearing housing to fit the turbine housing. So you are going to have to buy a turbine housing uh, along with the Supercore. One update you will get with all the G-Series turbine housings is it is now stainless steel. So it is a little bit less bulky, marginally, in, in places. But the, uh, the weight is still pretty hefty. But the thermal efficiency and the corrosion resistance of the stainless is a win-win on, on all levels. But downpipe flanges still 5.15 inch. Turbine flanges are still on the same centers, so your exhaust system will bolt right up. Let's see, what else do I get uh, a lot of? Um, options for the G55. Reed, do we have anything for it yet to make it better? As of right now, no. Um, we're doing our standard work options uh, internal. So any turbo that you buy from us, 
we will take this center cartridge completely apart. We do, we basically change it from a mass produced turbo over to what we consider a true custom turbocharger. So there are a few machining operations we do in the center section. Um, we do also validate the balance. Garrett does a great job with it, but we make sure everything is, is to our specification. Um, we go through the mass-produced compressor cover and turbine housings and we blueprint the nozzles on both of them. Everything that we've been doing to performance turbos to make them a performance turbo for 26 years. As far as any new compressor wheel updates uh, or compressor cover updates, we've been working on them. Um, they are not at the top of our priority list right now because the Garrett stuff performs so well right out of the box. But if you have a special request or a special need uh, for more airflow in a given size, let us know. We'll definitely talk to you about some options there. Not a huge bit of information, uh, but the bulk of it is, is that Superstar right there, that turbine wheel. And that's a nice piece. So that gets you your airflow that you need, a little bit of weight reduction, and one really killer turbo. Guys, I hope you like these videos. If you got some suggestions for some new ones, let me know. I'm always ears open and willing to try to help any way I can. As always, make sure to subscribe and like my channel. Uh, help me grow it. And uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, at Work Turbo on both platforms. I post a lot of stuff on social media there. We're looking forward to uh, your comments. And if you need a turbo, let me know. I'll be here to help you. Y'all guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.